welcome back once again. Today, we are almost getting to the tail end of covenant bonds. In fact, in terms of the bonding itself, the intermediate force and all that, we have almost finished with the concept. But we need to understand certain things under uh, covenant bonding too. What we are going to study today is titled Continuity of Bond Types. Continuity of Bond Types. This topic suggests and explains why one cannot have a bond that is 100% ionic nor 100% covalent. If you have a bond that is ionic, apart from metallic bond, which is the are metals, and so it is unique. If you have a bond which is ionic or covalent, this topic suggests that it cannot be 100% ionic all the time. Neither can a covalent bond be 100% covalent all the time. Now, it gives three reasons. The first one, let's take ionic bonds. We are taking an example of an ionic bond like uh, sodium chloride or let's say lithium chloride. We have your lithium To this one and this one has uh, the chloride has accepted it any electron that is at the atom shell of the chloride ion or of the anion that is not strongly held by the nucleus of that anion will be pulled towards the positive ion in other words the positive ion having gained that positive charge now will have some affinity for electrons and so any electron that is here at the atom shell that is not held strongly by the nucleus of the anion will be pulled towards or will be pulled by the positive ion. And this ability of the cation to pull the electrons to itself is called the polarizing power. Polarizing power. So when it pulls the electron towards itself, then the electrons, you know, will just not leave the shell or the orbital and come alone. It will come in the orbital in which it exists. So as it comes, this spherical shape will be lost. It will become distorted. Or we say the ionic, the spherical ionic structure will be deformed or distorted. So this structure may... Now, the ability of the cation to polarize the anion is called its polarizing power. And the propensity of the anion to be polarized is called its polarizability. Its polarizability. Now, when this thing happens, when this happens, because the anion will also want to go back to its normal shape, then it may tend to more or less try to lose that electron to it. And then you see that when it, this happens, then some covalent character will become in still in the ionic bond. So the ionic bond not, will no more exist as 100% ionic. Some covalency will be introduced into it. As long as or as soon as some polarizing, polarization comes in between an ionic system there is equivalent character introduced into the ionic bond so in this type of in uh, under this topic a question will be thrown to you sodium chloride lithium chloride explain which one is more ionic in other words they want you to explain 
which, in which one there is higher polarization of the anion or there's higher polarizability. So not all ionic bonds or ionic compounds are 100% ionic because no matter what, the cation will tend to polarize the anion or the anion will allow itself to be polarized or, anion, or the anion is polarizable. And when this happens, some covalent character is introduced into it. Now at this point, we need to know which cations have higher polarizing power and therefore will polarize more and reduce the ionic characteristics of an ionic bond. As usual, our periodic chemistry comes into play. The cations polarize, the anions are polarizable. If the cation has a higher polarizing power, polarization in the ionic compound becomes high and therefore ionic character reduces. So what factors do you use in checking whether cation A has polarizing power than cation B? Polarizing power, let me call it PP, is given by charge over size. What we call charge density. Now, if you take group one, all of them will have what? Plus one. Group one. Going down the group, they have what? Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, isn't it? But what about their size? Size increases down the group. So if you have plus one for lithium, plus one over say two, plus one for next one will be sodium, plus one over three, plus one over four, what is happening to this ratio? It is reducing. You understand that? Because size is increasing down the group, but the numerator is constant. And therefore charge density or the polarizing power will be decreasing down the group. So in group one, for instance, we say lithium plus has a higher polarizing power than sodium plus which also has a higher polarizing power than potassium plus so that if i have lithium combined with any anion lithium plus will polarize it more than sodium plus and then than potassium so what will happen it means that going down the group ionic character rather increases in other words polarization of the polarizing power of the cation reduces. So the cation is not able to polarize the anion the more to reduce the ionic character. So going down a group ionic character increase. Why? Because polarizing power of cation reduces in going down any group the size is increasing charge is fixed so polarizing power which is charge density charge over size reduces so if charge is reducing then for a constant anion if the anion is constant chloride bromide and we are depending only on the on the cation then any character should be increasing so that lithium chloride is less is less ionic than sodium yes it's less ionic than sodium chloride in other words sodium chloride is more ionic than lithium chloride and potassium chloride is also more ionic than so here, the sign will be this. Okay. This is less. So this is more than this. And this is more than that. Or if I want to arrange them well, I'll say lithium chloride. Lithium chloride is less ionic than sodium chloride, which is also less ionic than potassium chloride. Why? Because lithium, sodium, potassium are in the same group one. Going down the group. Polarization or polarizing power decreases due to increasing size. Polarizing power is given by charge over size. In the same sense, in group two, the same way, beryllium will polarize any anion close to it more than magnesium, and magnesium will polarize more than calcium. In fact, this is why we say that some time ago in one of our videos, I told you that beryllium doesn't form ionic compounds 
because beryllium it is so small plus two its size is so small so its polarizing power is so high that even when it forms the the ionic bond with you it will chase you later and polarize you such that your bond will become covalent again you give back its electrons to it that is why covalent uh, beryllium doesn't form uh, uh, ionic bonds but beryllium chloride i just illustrated in the, in the last two videos becl2 or bx2 is covalent ideally it's supposed to be what ionic but it's covalent you would rather share the electrons than beryllium donate all its two electrons to it if you donate the two electrons to it it will follow it wanting to take the electrons back in other words it will polarize the chloride such that the ion, the covalent character that will be introduced to, into it will be more than 50 percent so in the end becomes what covalent so group two going across the period we have discussed going down the group in going across the period what happens group two element will have plus two besides its size is smaller Going across a period, across a period, plus one and plus two, or plus three. This, you know, going across a period, size is smaller, size decreases. So charge density here becomes even more. Here, this is plus one, plus one, and the size is big. When you come to group two, this is plus two, and the size is even smaller. So polarizing power becomes what? Higher. So across the period, size decreases, making the denominator small, and charge increases, making the denominator high. And so polarizing power becomes higher. So for lithium and beryllium, and then boron, plus one, plus two, plus three, or sodium, plus one, magnesium, plus two aluminium plus three going across a period polarizing power increases polarizing power is seriously increasing why because both in terms of size and charge it is increasing because size the charge will increase from plus one to plus two this has increased size has decreased so this ratio goes high so across a period polarizing power increases and so in terms of ionic character, going across a period, we say ionic character reduces. Why? Because polarizing power of the cation increases. So if I will summarize it across a period down a group, ionic character Down a group, any character increases due to due to decreasing polarizing power of cation. The main rule or factor being charge density. Charge density simply means charge over size. Just remember that and apply it. When you are going down a group, the charges are the same so it is a size that plays the size is increasing down in group so the ratio if this one controls become bigger the ratio becomes smaller so we say polarizing power decreases down in group and so once polarizing power is decreasing down in group then the polarizability or the polarizing polarization of the ionic uh, bond is low so ionic character will be high across the period ionic character is reduced because charge is increasing, size is decreasing. So, plasma power increases. Now, let's give an example. I'll give you an example so that you go and check. I'm using chloride or bromide. Whatever compound I can find 
in your school. Ask your teachers to help you check it. So if I take lithium, beryllium, and then sodium, potassium, this is magnesium, and this is calcium. If I use their chlorides, if I use their chlorides, in fact, beryllium chloride is even not ionic, it is covalent. That is this. Magnesium chloride is there. Calcium chloride is there. Potassium chloride is there. Sodium chloride is there. Lithium chloride is there. What I want you to do is, in terms of ionic crater, I'm saying ionic crater is increasing this way. Ionic crater is decreasing this way. Okay. So now, if you want to compare these ones, when you go, compare the hardness of these three substances. Dissolve them in water and look at their conductivity. Which one will give you more light? Which one will glow more? Potassium chloride should have... Potassium chloride should be harder than sodium chloride, which should also be harder than... Uh, or potassium, let me see, potassium chloride is harder than sodium chloride, which is also harder than uh, lithium chloride. When you dissolve them in water and you do conduction of electricity, you see that this one should give you a higher glow than this and this than that. Because the ionic character in this is higher than the ionic character in that and that. In the same sense, sodium chloride and magnesium chloride, there is higher polarization in this compound. So this is less ionic compared to this. So take magnesium chloride salt and take sodium chloride salt and see which one can form light compounds or which ones are hard. Just flew them. This one looks like sugar. I mean, it's small. This one, sodium chloride, you know, you can get very big particles and they are very hard. Sometimes you cannot break with your, with your fingers. But you can only do that with this. The same way, this is higher than that. Check them in the laboratories. Increasing ionic character due to decreasing polarization of potassium of the cation. Decreasing ionic character due to increasing polarizing power of the cation. So in fact, I'm saying that this is not ionic. It is covalent. It cannot give out its two electrons and stay quietly. After giving it to chase it and run, pick it back. Polarization is so high that the whole compound tends to be covalent. So that is the meaning of this ionic um, continuity of bond types. That is point one. We have discussed uh, ionic characteristics. But that is on the end. What if here the cation is constant and the anion varies? So let's look at polarizability of the anions. Polarizability of the anion, anion. The same way. The anion, if it is big, that means that it will be closer to the uh, cation and then the nucleus is far away from the, from the atom shell. So it means the cation can polarize it more. So the bigger, the factor here is that the bigger the anion or the higher the charge. Remember, if anions have higher charges in the electronic portion, they become big. So in terms of anions, one, the larger the anion or the higher the charge of the anion, the higher its polarizability. In other words, its propensity for the cation to polarize it. And therefore, the lower the ionic character. So across a period, if I use chloride and sulfur, for instance, sulfur is in group 6. Chloride, chlorine, is on uh, group 7. So the charge on this will be minus 1 to accept one electron. The charge on this will be what? Minus 2. Going across the period, what do we say? We say size decreases. So even without the charges, sulfur is bigger than chlorine already. Without charges, sulfur is bigger than what? Chlorine. But when they attract electrons, sulfur will always attract two electrons to fill its octet. Chlorine will attract one. So this will become the charges. So the sulfide will have two, chloride will have one. Higher charge, bigger size. So polarizability of sulfide is higher than polarizability of the chloride. In other words, going across a period, polarizability of the anion decreases. Okay, because size drops and the charges also even drop. So ionic crater with those ones will even be higher. In effect, if I take this and combine it with sodium, for this one I'll get 
sodium chloride. For this, I get sodium sulfide. So they have to donate two letters to me this. Who draw me more ionic? Sodium chloride with more ionic than sodium sulfide. Why? Because here, the chloride here is smaller. One charge and small. Two charges and bigger. With two uh, sodium ions all polarizing. So they will polarize the, so, uh, the sulfide more than the chloride. So that sodium chloride is more ionic than sodium sulfide. What about if I, this is across a period, what about if I choose going down a group, chloride and bromide, minus one, minus one, group seven, they will be minus one, minus one. What will be the effect? Bromine is larger than chlorine, so bromide will be larger than the chloride. So this being larger means that it will be closer to the cation more. In other words, its nucleus that will be holding the electrons on the atom shell will be far off. And so the cation which is bonding with it can polarize it the more. So can't any cation close to this will polarize this one more than this. So sodium combining with this, if I combine sodium with this, it will polarize this one more than when I combine sodium with the chloride. So with anions going down the group, ionic crater reduces. Ionic crater reduces because polarizability of the anion increases due to the increasing size of the atom or of the anion. They have the same charge though, but going down the group, the size increases. The larger the size of the anion, the higher is polarizability. And if the polarizability is high, then polarization in the compound becomes high. And so ionic crater reduces. I'm summarizing it. Polarizing power of an ion is the ability of a cation to distort electron cloud around the anion. Polarizability of the anion is the ability of the electron cloud around an anion to be distorted. Polarization in any ionic compound brings uh, ionic characteristics into it. This could be due to the polarizing power of the cation or could be due to the polarizability of the anion. If the polarizing power of the cation is high, polarization in the compound is high, ionic character reduces. If polarizability of the anion is high, polarization is high, ionic character reduces. So in terms of the cation, going down a group, polarizing power of the cation uh, reduces, so ionic character increases. Going across a period for cation, polarizing power increases of the cation due to the increasing charge and reducing size. And so ionic character reduces. In terms of anion, going across a period, size reduces and charge also reduces. Charge is one, okay? Charge reduces, size reduces. So polarizability of the anion reduces and therefore ionic character is high going across a period. By going down a group, size increases, charge remains the same and therefore polarizability of the anion increases. So ionic character decreases. This is the summary. That is the summary of this topic. We'll end here and in my next video, I have not finished with that topic, continuity of bond types. In this, what I've discussed so far is that for any ionic bond, you cannot have it to be 100% ionic. Now, we want to go in my next video, we are going to explain or to see how uh, covalent compounds can also not be 100% covalent all the time. Thank you. Come along.